Hey, what's up guys? Today, I'll show you a body horror film. Growth. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. The movie begins when an infected man is running away from the police on a small island surrounded by salt water. The man appears to be infected by a certain parasite. He runs through the woods, and he eventually gets cornered by the police as he reaches the beach. Left with no choice, he jumps to the salt water and instantly gets burned by it. An assistant scientist arrives at the scene soon. He finds the man's blood and clothes on the beach. It appears that the man vanishes after being burned by the salt water. The scene then transitions to the year 1989. A team of scientists led by Dr. Crazy manages to develop a parasite that will enhance the human condition. The newly developed parasite is considered groundbreaking since it allows its human host to be smarter and stronger. This allows the human host to grow beyond its original capacity. However, as the scientists are about to present them in the media one day, the human hosts escape from the laboratory and manage to spread the parasite throughout the island's inhabitants, causing a lot of deaths. The spread of parasite infection eventually gets uncontrollable. As a result, the inhabitants of the islands almost get wiped out. Fortunately, the other island inhabitants manage to evacuate in time, including Dr. Crazy's daughter, Jamie. The island inhabitants soon created a mass graveyard for those who died because of the infection. Before that parasite project, the island scientists are able to genetically develop a perfect pearl, which allows them to earn a lot of money. The scene moves to the present day. Jamie is now a teenager, and she goes back to the island. It turns out she received a call that her scientist father is already dead, so she goes back to the island to sell the property. She goes back with her lover. Along with them are her stepbrother Justin and her best friend named Ladybro. That night, a parasite-infected young girl walks toward her parents. The parasites are crawling around her body. Out of a sudden, the parasites crawl out of her body and swarm toward her parents. In the meantime, Jamie and her companions arrive at their house. There, Jamie finds a storage room full of her old things. As she is checking it around, she recalls her sweet childhood moments on the island together with her mother. Outside, Jamie's lover tries to use his phone, but finds that there is no connection in the area. He asks a man in a car near the road, but the man ignores him and drives away. The next day, they use walkie-talkies for communication, since there are no connections in the area. Lady Bro goes for a run, and she encounters the relatives of the parasite victims walking along the woods. Meanwhile, a mysterious man in a hoodie can be seen observing her secretly. In the hospital, the doctors find a body being consumed by the parasites. A scientist in charge of the parasite program, named Professor, discusses that they had a miscalculation in the creation of the parasite. Apparently, the parasite can enhance the human host, but it needs to consume the human host in return. Professor comes out of the room and talks to his assistant. He insists to him that Jamie must have the formula for the antidote. It's revealed that Professor lured Jamie to go back to the island by tricking her that her father's land cost millions. In response, the assistant says the parasite incident is already over and there is no need for an antidote. The assistant wants Jamie to leave the island. While they are talking, the parasite attacks the doctor inside the room. The police chief comes in, and he shoots the infected doctor without hesitation. Later, the assistant introduces himself as the city council to Jamie. He offers a small amount of money for her father's land, despite Jamie's insistence that the land cost more. This leaves Jamie no choice but to forfeit the land to the city council for a lower price. Meanwhile, Justin and Ladybro have a walk in the woods. The mysterious figure is still lurking around them secretly. The two are flirting around as they arrive at the lake. There, Justin swims through the water, while the mysterious man lets a parasite swim toward him. He goes back to Ladybro, and the two begin a smelly workout section. As they are wrestling their muscles, the parasite enters Justin's body through his foot. Back at the house, Jamie and her lover find a secret box hidden under the bed. They search through the secret box. Jamie finds a pearl and a familiar doll. The lover plays the tape from the secret box. The tape plays footage of Dr. Crazy, introducing the enhanced human hosts of the parasites. As Jamie and her lover are watching the footage, Lady Bro frantically reports to them that Justin appears to be severely sick. They rush to the lake, only to find the weakened Justin vomiting. They then bring the sick Justin back to their house. As they need to call the doctor, the lover rushes to the dock to have a connection. Meanwhile, Jamie asks for a telephone from their neighbor, but the neighbor is already being consumed by the parasites. As Jamie and her friend head toward Professor's house, a mysterious car follows them. Justin eventually wakes up from sleep, and he already feels better now. However, he behaves differently after the parasite infected him. Ladybro then tells Jamie that he's feeling well now. 
Justin wakes up in the middle of the night. He notices that he gains a heightened sense, as he is able to hear things even from far away distances. He then walks into a nearby bar, since the parasites inside him are looking for food. In the bar, he effectively flirts with a woman who has a boyfriend. He manages to figure out the woman's current problems. He then comforts her using his muscles. As a result, her boyfriend gets angry at him. He just remains calm at the moment, and he asks the boyfriend to have a decent muscle wrestling outside. The boyfriend with his two friends confronts Justin outside. There, the boyfriend insults Justin's stupid sunglasses. In return, Justin warns him that he has the choice to run away. Justin provokes the boyfriend to come to fight him. However, the coward boyfriend hesitates to attack him. He walks away with the woman, prompting the boyfriend to come at him. He instantly defends himself by pushing the boyfriend to the ground. He helps the boyfriend to stand up, but the boyfriend uses this chance to punch him. But since he is too fast, he's able to defend himself from the punch. The two shitty friends approach him, and he simply overpowers them. The boyfriend and his friends come to beat him together. Surprisingly, he's able to beat them easily. After that, he walks away with the woman. The boyfriend throws a rock at him. He then smashes the cement ground using his mighty strength. He picks up the crushed cement to throw at the boyfriend, but the woman prevents him and calms down his muscular body. He and the woman soon walk away, and they go to a dark place along the woods. They then start to wrestle their muscles. During that moment, the woman feels that Justin's body is so cold. She grabs something in his ears, but she is too caught at the moment to notice it. A parasite comes out of his ears, and it comes toward her. As she reacts to it, he instantly chokes the woman to death and feeds her sexy body to the parasites. Justin eventually wakes up back at his home, but he's not completely aware of the event, thinking that it only happened in his dreams. Jamie walks into his room to bring his breakfast. She recalls how her family used to eat breakfast on the island. She remembers that everything is going well with her family. Out of nowhere, Justin feels sick again, causing him to rush to the bathroom. He vomits a large number of parasites in the toilet. He soon comes out to chop wood. He is surprised to discover that he can now easily chop down wood with the axe. At the same time, he can break the woods using his bare hands. He then punches the tree, and the woods break, proving that he now has superhuman strength because of the parasite. Meanwhile, Lady Bro is enjoying a run in the woods. She follows the trail of flowers along her path, and she discovers the mass graveyard for the victims of the parasite infection outbreak during the year 1989. She is too appalled as she stares at the numbers of those who died from the parasite infection. Suddenly, the mysterious figure that keeps lurking at them appears behind her. The mysterious figure tries to attack her. In response, she applies the anti-hormone spray on its face before running away. She screams for help while the mysterious man is following her. On the other side, Justin is busy chopping wood. Jamie's lover approaches him, asking for permission to marry her sister, Jamie. Justin hears Lady Bro scream from a faraway distance. So he simply agrees to him and rushes to help out Lady Bro in the woods. Lady Bro keeps running away and eventually tries to call through the walkie-talkie. However, Jamie's lover is not able to notice it. The mysterious man appears behind her. It turns out he is infected with the parasite. He then grabs Lady Bro, not to tongue massage her, but feeds her to his massive parasite tongue. Back at the house, Professor and his assistant visit Jamie and her lover. They want to see Justin's condition, believing that he is infected by the parasite. Professor asks for Justin's symptoms, and it matches the symptoms of parasite infection. He then reveals to Jamie that Justin is really sick, and he has already killed a woman from the bar. So Jamie and her lover run to the woods to search for him. As they are running, the mysterious man instantly grabs Jamie away. Meanwhile, Justin is devastated to find Lady Bro already dead in the woods. He carries the dead body as the island hunters are slowly approaching to catch him. He then pins a hunter to the ground and spits a parasite into its mouth as a greeting. Jamie's lover arrives at the scene, and he prevents the hunters from attacking Justin. The hunters then shoot the lover to death. Justin retaliates against the hunters, causing them to drop one after the other. The remaining hunter shoots Justin, but his gun wounds instantly heal. The hunter tries to attack him, but he grabs the hunter's arm and separates it from his body, intending to make a bacon ham. Professor and his assistant arrive at the scene with the police officer. They find the dead bodies. The police officer finishes them off, while the assistant throws salt at them to kill the parasites. The police officer sees that a parasite manages to enter Professor's body. He then shoots Professor to death without hesitation, knowing that Professor is already infected. Meanwhile, the mysterious man brings Jamie to a secret laboratory. He soon reveals himself, who is actually her scientist father, Dr. Crazy. Jamie recalls her childhood when she's hiding under the bed while her mother gives her the doll. 
There, she overhears that her mother had already developed an antidote. Her father wants to get hold of it, but her mother refuses to give it to him. The father ended up killing her mother during that time. Back to the present, Dr. Crazy has already developed the antidote for the parasites that will prevent the infection outbreak. Jamie manages to free herself up. She then runs away with the antidote. She calls the assistant, reporting that she is trapped inside a laboratory with her father. The assistant then immediately leaves the police office to rescue her. He eventually arrives in the laboratory and confronts Dr. Crazy, who is approaching Jamie. The assistant tries to inject the antidote into Dr. Crazy, but he manages to push him away. Jamie then throws salt water at her father, causing him to burn to death. After that, the assistant and Jamie drive away from the lab. He explains to her that Dr. Crazy wanted to confiscate his wife's antidote as it would prevent his plans to spread the parasite. He also reveals to Jamie that Professor lured her back to the island, thinking that she has the antidote formula. The assistant suddenly stops the car as they find another car parked in the middle of the road. It turns out the car belongs to Jamie's friend, who is now infected with the parasite. Jamie immediately grabs her friend's baby while the assistant chokes her infected friend to death. He brings Jamie to the dock so she can immediately leave the island. As Jamie is turning on the boat's engine, Justin arrives on the scene, trying to leave the island with her. The assistant stops him, so he bites the assistant to death. Jamie activates the boat's engine. She lets the boat accelerate to the ocean without her riding it. Justin blindly follows the boat, while unnoticed Jamie grabs the baby. She rides the Tesla boat with the baby, but without a battery, and she paddles away. Justin sees her, and he begs her not to leave him alone on the island. Left with no choice, she ignores him as she continues to paddle the Tesla boat away. Jamie and the baby eventually get farther away from the island by morning. She sneezes, and she figures out that she's already infected by the parasites. She then remembers that the antidote formula is hidden in the doll given by her mother, so she hands it over to the baby. She sees that there is a ship nearby, which will eventually rescue the baby. Knowing that she is already infected, she accepts her fate and jumps into the salt water, causing her to be burned to death. The movie ends in South Korea six months after when a parasite crawls out of a pearl, implying that the parasite infection is not yet over. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.